with this again. Fnatic, they're going to try and go for a play. It hasn't been too successful the last few times that they've done this. We'll see if they get away with it this time. Mushi jumps in, looks for the lockdown onto AK. The AK's ever hit, but again, EJ can control the nightmare. AK can still get bursted down by the Tiptop. The slam comes through, but they've lost the Shaker. Ahaya getting melted by a load of double kill for the Terra Blade. He'll turn his attention towards mid one. Mid one trying to throw the Shaker back, trying to bring down EJ. Incredibly low timber chains across. Still, they've only killed AK at the start of this fight. Mushi's being gripped. Lotus going to bring down the Sven. Triple kill for the man. The timber still mid one has to kill himself at the end of it and Fnatic again I mean it seems like this game they're pretty much giving us a demonstration on how not to gank and rotate it's just not gone right any time for them sure the S4 I guarantee he gets off that ultimate they have because great. it's a team fight I guess so but they haven't like he hasn't really been close to dying at all yeah look at that evasion it's like the timber saw is not big enough the Sven keeps getting kited like he had an instant cyclone on him in. The collab is going to go with the Primal Split as well. Look for the lock on to Ahaya, making sure to bring the Beastmaster out of the fight before the Royal could come out. It's going to be the one kill, but with the tier two down, Bruits out. they look to try and find a lock on to mid one. They don't have a huge that amount of control outside of the split illusions. Nonetheless, it's going to allow them to do a fair bit to the man. They just turn their attention towards the tier three. See what they can do. Control the four as four, but again, they won't catch him initially. They do get the glimpse back onto him, but he's glimmer caped up. They're going to be nightmare this year. He can't find to dodge up, but the DJ can't win it with a slam in the deck. Alliance getting ripped to shreds here. They've got to run. They've got to hide. Loader, he has got the ages, but Fnatic. Don't look to take him down a second time here. He'll Thunder Mushi try and beat down him with a reflection, nearly getting the kill, but the armor toggle's real. They'll jump back in. The slam down, the beat down onto the Terra Blade, and Alliance boozing. Three heroes there on a on a high ground push gone incredibly wrong. Very nicely, but the tier three is only on nine HP, so Alliance should be able to clean that up with the bit of movement in. And S4 going straight in with the BKB, looking for the focus onto mid one. He'll move himself away, but that's all the Alliance wants. They wanted to create this way to beat down on these racks. Mid one jumping in, looking for the burst on loader immediately with the Sunder. Swapping the life, getting mid one of course right back. And Alliance, they should be able to clean up the melee racks in. Looks like Fnatic won't have an answer. For the time being, they're hanging around on the sidelines. Maybe DJ looking for some kind of initiation with a blink echo slam. They'll bring back Loda in the middle of it, looking for the center onto Ohio, but he gets the Royal in time. It doesn't matter though, they still lose the Beastmaster. Loda, Glimmer caked up, the Fisher, the Static Storm is there. The Shallow Grave though, Loda, he can fight through this one. He'll still try and beat down onto the backliners to get the Disruptor kill. He's got the Aegis. He'll be back for round two and Bulldog. Still just mad. Yeah, he gets the, there's the slam. Comes in from DJ. The fine one, but S4, he's back in on this. Who's Control. DJ's yes. doing it! Oh. They'll find it! They'll find Loader and S4 now, the last one remaining. Fnatic, they look to clean this one up as well. They're gonna do it again, and it's DJ's plays, really. This control that this man offers in the fight, allowing Fnatic to hold like this, they do still lose all the racks, but it's it's quite a costly racks. I mean, you look at the gold swing, over 5k in favor of Fnatic because of that fight. It is kind of felt like in the fight. So it's the promise, but it's got a bit of control. But uh, Lions, they, they certainly were lock, lock, uh, lacking lockdown other than EGM. And uh, EGM actually going to get a, a brief beam script onto him when he chains himself right into the middle of a Lions. Uh, <laughs> what did he do? He just chained right into them. This team was taking the tier to a top lane. Why did... What? I don't know, maybe he wanted to go to the secret shop. I don't know. Did he try and do that cheeky chain link back thing again? Because that almost I mean, cost him a fight earlier, too. <laughs> I think he might have. I mean, that's a buy back mid one. Fortification coming out here as well. And could be on the verge of losing a second set of racks. Which with the god strength, ready to fight. Jumps in onto Loader, but the Vivicator that would glimpse him back. Loader, silenced up as well in the static storm. Can they keep this around alive? No, the control is not going to be there. They've lost the Terra Blade. Now Fnatic moving in for more again. DJ with the slam. They get to beat down onto Bulldog. They'll get the chase down in again. DJ with this control. Bulldog turns around, tries to fight into man, but DJ, he just goes centers up. The rest of Fnatic moves it. They'll take down the Broodmother as well. They found themselves three. Uh, can they get themselves in more? Oh, they oh, can. can. They've got the glimpse back onto S4. And Alliance, they are losing a lot of the control that they did once have on this game. Another fight. They lose four. They, they find a higher. They did force mid one to buy back. Baited. But as we can <laughs> see by the really gold, was. I mean. Uh, that, that was actually... They would have pushed anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. In, in some ways, yeah. But why? Like Alliance also pushed when Roshan was up. Oh, you know, man. because of the fact that they got the pick off on mid one. I'm not saying that was actually planned out by mid one, but that was very fortuitous <laughs> that his suicide it was... actually turns into Alliance going. We got the pick off. We got the advance. Let's go. go high ground, and they they lose that fight, and now Roshan will go into the hand yeah. of Fnatic. Whereas otherwise, I think Alliance would have quite easily taken. I mean, uh, and, and this is the thing is. 
All that all that Fnatic need to do is just five man push one direction and win the fight. We have it, they're ready to go, trying to look for the jump in immediately onto S4, but he got the BKB up and he will be able to prime the split. Looking to control and take down the spell, the heal bomb, they'll do it. Mushi out of the fight. Static Storm comes out, only catches out Ake Loda, gets the BKB off. They've taken down a second. Let's see if they can bring down mid Well, look at the damage Loda's doing, punching for the Timbersaw. Mid one will still survive. Buyback from Mushi. Fnatic actually get themselves back in this fight. They're trying to regroup at the high ground. Is he jumping onto Vorder? But again, the control. DJ will come out with the Echo Slam. Not quite enough damage to bring down these boys. The Loader turning around. Look for the Sunder. Oh, oh, the Loader's no. off. Sunder. The Sunder's ineffective. Does absolutely nothing there as he Sunders himself. Mushi control. Then Fnatic may just be turning this one around again. Looking to find another EGM. Will get the TP out. Did cost them a buyback on Mushi. DJ is so godly. <laughs> he really, I mean, I, I, every time he's been hitting at least two with these slams. But yeah, the, the Echo, the, the Lotus Orb. I mean, that, yeah. That, that just owned. That, that pretty much. That, that guaranteed, he, guaranteed the kill onto Loda. He casted it like right as he was about to cast it. If he cast it half a second earlier, yeah. he would have seen the Lotus Orb or heard it and then just like, okay, it I was, don't want to lose. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was, was the like, same time. It was. It was the same time. Oh. It's also stat efficient. And yeah, I mean, like it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be the, for the reason of right clicking. No. It would be for the reason that, like, okay, a little bit of extra stats. Oh, God. Oh, oh that's not the picture. He gets caught out here. That, that does allow them to fight time of the lockdown on DJ with the roll. Loader pulling over. He gets the PKB to swim around. The turnaround will be there. Primal split for the side of the Lions. Heads for with the beat down onto Mushi. The damage from Loader ripping through this man. They'll take down 3 4 3 on the disruptor as well on the Lions. Be holding very relatively well for the time being. Ohio's gone as well. They've found themselves a number. That's the gem going back the way of them. See if they can get anything more aligned. Can they get Mip one or Mushi off the back of this one? They can delete in and just with the final moments of the split illusion. They'll have the cyclone to control mid one. Do they have the follow through lockdown? They do. The strip from EGM. The jump in from DJ looking for the Sam to turn it around. This time it's not gonna work. DJ's down mid one as well. Alliance will hold. Four dead on Fnatic. And this time in a turn of the tables, uh, it is Fnatic failing with these high ground pushes. And Alliance just ripping through them. And again, it's, it's just this combination of the Terrorblade and Dazzle. Oh. Yeah, because the that, maim is useful. Dude, there's no Shell Grave. That may actually save Loader from the physical damage. Oh, yeah. the yeah. initiation, and then he's said it. They've got to take down one of the sports. They've got an EGM down for Nazi Loader. Punching into 3 4 3. Trying to bring down the man, but he can't. In fact, he doesn't finish off the disrupt. He'll turn his attention towards rest. Now comes back in. But a buyback immediately from Ohio. Moosh! Ripped to pieces, flying back straight away here. DJ, he's gone. Down for a second time, 100 seconds off the map. Triple kill for Bulldog. He looks towards Ohio. Mid one trying to do his best to hold down the big spider. But chomp, chomp, chomp. Ohio's gone. Bulldog with an ultra kill. Can he make it anything more? Looks like he can't. Mid one escapes. But again, Bulldog just being an incredible nuisance in these fights as he just chomps down onto the members of Fnatic. Three heroes now off the map without buyback available. An alliance will look to move up and try uh -oh, and force Thunder. Mega Cruise. They can't jump in. Oh, 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 he's gone! They did it. And they might even find more Bulldogs. He's in a bit of trouble as well. He's got the grave from Ake. Turn around, there's a buyback immediately from Loader. Yeah, he's getting himself back into the fight, Loader. Did one actually has to go back and heal himself for mana almost because but that just means Vega's gonna be taken. And then once a lot of trouble, the blood points down on Tim. Look, the crits, the red numbers flashing through, and he's gone. He'll buy back. They do have 3 4 3 back in now with the static storm, but as we can see, Alliance, they will be able to force Mega Creeps against Fnatic. Right, let's see how well they can hold they a Fnatic. Need a glimpse. They, they need, need a some good big. They here. need a catch. They'll see Mushi jumping forward as well. Mid one trying to, to get the lockdown on them, but they can't find any of the members of Alliance and Alliance. They'll get away with this one. And, and this time, a very, very much a successful push for Alliance. They found all of the racks. Oh, this fight, that was supposed to be their next target. Look, Fnatic as well coming out here. Oh, oh my God. Just a loader, dodging it with the man's style. The jump back in from S4, coming out with a split. Mushi has been loads of stuff. Big one's going to be Fiend's Crit. They've got the controller. Fishy coming through, loader. Loader, oh, the Sunder keeps himself alive. Breaks out 3-4-3. DJ Mushi trying to deal with the Terra Blade hit, chasing him down, but they can't kill the man. EGM slides across. They're trying to get themselves out of this one, Fnatic. But again, they've lost two on the back lines. Ohio as well. It's going to be a third down for Fnatic. And with that, this should look to be Alliance yeah, taking Mushi's the game well. here. The setup on Tamushi, the boys move in for more blood. Alliance, it's been a hard game to open up the series, but it looks like they've finally been able to close it down against Fnatic. The tier fours will fall, holding in for the time being here, but with the Megas beating down onto the Ancient, 
it is going to be GG at 64 minutes in Alliance finally take the game but uh, a bit of a way to open up the group stage here. yeah that was, that was uh, yeah that was an insane game uh, very well played by um, I think Alliance doing a good job controlling the game and closing it out uh, despite, you know, it was kind of scary pushing that forward and, and uh, against Fnatic, they did a good job controlling the game. They played passive when they needed to, like, for yep. example, like forcing Fnatic.